Composite Art Spitfire Video Number One. I'm building a composite art Spitfire. This is the fuselage. We're doing a parts inventory. You have a cow, canopy, windshields, radiators, rear window here. You have a choice of uh, air coolers, large or small, depending on what version you want your Spitfire to be like. I believe this is like an oil cooler. I have a 3W85 Competition Redhead for the engine. These exhaust stacks come from Kelio Creations. I had them on a Spit once before. You have to make all, uh, this is your parts for uh, servos. So all these pieces have to be built. Wheel pants, screws, horns, all that type of stuff. Over here, you have your rudder, elevator, right and left wings. As you can see I already started the Spitfire. First thing I did because I know I'm gonna go with a scale cockpit I took a Dremel with one of these cutoff wheels. I marked, made my marks and I did my cuts. So I cut this area out here I just taped it for the video, that way you can see it. Then I cut out the back window area. The reason for the tape was so when I used my Dremel, I didn't make a mistake and scratch up the fuselage. So it's just basically for protection. The cowl had to be mounted. So first, what I did, I took the... Uh, Per instructions, I put the cowl on, taped it, marked uh, all my whole areas that with a caliper, you know, I, I measured everything in between the screws, so I made it precise. Each hole is exactly the same distance apart. While the cowl was still on, I use a 3 by 20 Allen head screws with a blind nut reversed on the rear and epoxy them in. That's how the cow be held on. Then I began to do the, uh, the mounting or I would say the installation of the firewall. Now here in the manual, I'll show you in the manual, you can see it comes with uh, two pieces of hardwood ply that you should put on. This is how your motor be mounted or mounted to. Um, the two pieces of hardwood ply, one per the manual says mount inside, epoxy inside, one outside. What I did, uh, because I built this plane before and I know how I like it, I went ahead and mounted both pieces of ply on the inside. And I'm going to drop the camera down in there to so where you can see it. There you go. So there you see both pieces of uh, ply sandwiched together. I sandwiched them with a vise, 30 minute epoxy, and I let it dry overnight. Today, what I did, I put the uh, firewall in. Uh epoxy and micro balloons mix and then to sandwich that real good and make sure it was sticking to this fuse I took a wood block a scrap piece of wood block and four screws 
and I drilled in, and that would out actually act as a vise or a clamp for the inside and outside, and then I let that epoxy dry. So now I have a, a, a good solid firewall. And what I'll do, I'll take this block off. Let me see if I can. Uh... I'm going to take the block off, and you'll see that I have my, uh, my template. position this camera Excuse me for my bootleg video. Here. So as you can see, that block was just to sandwich the firewall on until it dried. So now it's good. Good and epoxied on. You can see I already marked up my area with a template. This is for the 3W85. Uh, competition redhead motor. Uh, this area be cut out so that the back of the car will fit into the fuselage. And then I'll drill my holes. I got it perfectly centered. 80 millimeters down for the horizontal line right here. And uh, the motor be ready to be mounted. Now on this composite arch I know they say it's ARF, but to me it's more like a kit because all this work you have to do, uh, especially if you, you're going to go scale. So you can see how the windshields need each windshield or the canopy has to be cut out. Then, if you look closely at the windshield, all the windshield pieces are going to have to be cut out. Radiators, this rear uh, window area is going to have to be cut fitted. Your own cockpit is going to have to be made. I'm going to do the mounting, uh, the exhaust stacks. These are going to be Kelly-O creations. So this is going to have to be mounted, custom fitted into there. Um, I have to cut out the area for the engine to come through, the front of the cowl. These side pieces are going to have to be coming out for the uh, exhaust stacks. Notice the, paint, the uh, plane is not painted. It will have to be painted after everything is done. But the detail of this bird is, in, is really, really nice. It's uh, unlike any other model I've really seen. You can really see the raised panel lines, the rivets as I travel down the bird. Rudder area elevator. Okay, now back over to these wings here. Notice uh, you got the wings, the ailerons, skin hinge flaps here. So these will come up and close, open and close. The landing gear have to be installed. Um, notice no place for the servos to go. So each servo hatch is going to have to be cut out and installed as well. These are really nice. Just getting a close up on the detail of these wings. So there you have it. Uh, composite our build video or parts video number one uh, for my project.